up? I'm Brett with Premier Guitar. We're rocking and rolling at Winter Nam 2009. We're at Seymour Duncan. I'm here with Frank. Frank, what's up? You got some new pedals to show us today? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We do. Um, first up, I'm going to show you guys the uh, double back compressor. Double back compressor is uh, basically the first pedal that's going to come out that's going to be perfect for guys who love compressors and perfect for guys who hate compressors. Um, the main reason I say that is because uh, most people have a love-hate relationship with their compressors and the reason being is because they love the sustain, they love the uh, sort of up front, push up front that they get from a compressor. The problem is guitarists like to express themselves. They want to be able to dig in sometimes and really hit the strings and have it you know, really pop out. And uh, what we found is that a no normal guitar compressors act as hard limiters. You really just can't get any more out of them um, when you go and play really hard. And so what we did was we first started off with a world-class compressor circuit. It's a VCA compressor, um, extremely fast attack, very guitar friendly. And that sounds basically like this. I've got the sustain cranked up and that's what you get. This is if it were bypassed, so you can hear the you know regular guitar tone. Yep. Um, but when I compress it, the nice thing is you know I get that sustain, but um, what I lose is the ability to really dig in and make a difference. On our compressor, the double back knob brings in some uncompressed signal um, and blends it with the compressed signal. So what happens is. Now I can get it to where I have the sustain, I have the extra juice that I need, but um, when I bring the double back knob up, it means that there's no more glass ceiling anymore. You if I pick through. exactly, yeah. if I pick hard, boom, it comes out. The, the transients are all preserved, and I've got an EQ button on there with three settings. One's for highs, that's like the bright channel on a plexi or a bright switch on a Fender. Um, mids, it's like a fat Texas boost. Uh, or full range, which is just straight, you know, uh, blend. So let me start with the highs here. This is where we were um, with the compressor on. And this is if I bring back in some of that top end without the compression on it. That's tight, dude. Yeah. And so all your pick attack and all your, you know, tactile sensitivity is there, you know, but the sustain is still coming out. I mean, if I turn it off, the note goes away, I turn it back on, there it is. There it is. So there's tons of sustain built into the pedal. I take it to the mids, and that works fantastic for like a neck humbucker sound. You know, here I am. And this is what, this is what it would do if I didn't have the double back in. And it's still a great sound, but it's just the sound of a normal guitar compressor, right? Um, and if I bring back in the full range, then, you know, it just sounds like a much more subtle compression. But again, the sustain is there. Which you wouldn't have if it was off. So there you have it, flexible compression with the double back compressor from Seymour Duncan. I'm Brett, you're watching PremierGuitar.com.